So in this lecture, we will customize our terminal itself. We will change its appearance, its colors, uh, its text uh, to make it a little, a little more beautiful and uh, a little more cooler. Obviously, you can uh, change uh, all the settings according to your needs and your desires. I'm going to just uh, show you the ways in which you can do that. So let's just open up this terminal. And let's put it on this side. And now you can see that this is pretty much the standard terminal that we get in our Ubuntu. Uh, so just click on these three bars and go to Preferences. Uh, now this is the setting menu from where we will... Uh, change the settings and when uh, we will be changing these settings we will uh, see the progress on the right hand side so let's just go to this unnamed uh, tab and switch to colors let's just uh, try to change colors first right so first of all we have uh, use colors from system theme uh, so this is the system theme right uh, this is the default uh, setting default uh, configuration and appearance of terminal if you want that, then just check this. If you don't want that, if you want to customize it, then just uncheck this. And you can see that uh, the colors of uh, the terminal has been changed. You can uh, go with, uh, you know, predefined themes. Uh, it's like white on black, right? So if you just type right now, so it means that the background is black and what you're doing is white. So it it's just like this. Uh, and then we have this, uh, you know, dark. We have this dark purple background with white text and a green computer name and desktop is in blue. And these symbols that we have uh, in front of our desktop or this column is also white and our cursor is also white, right? So we can change all that. Let's say we want solarized dark. So this is the theme that we will get. Uh, you can see this time our text is not uh, white, it's kind of grayish, and so is our cursor. So that's how you can change these settings. Uh, and right now you you're, you can see that your terminal uh, background is not transparent at all. And if you want to make it transparent, just go ahead and click this. Right, so as soon as you, you click this, you can see it's a little bit transparent. And you can control its transparency with this slider. Just slide to left to make it less transparent and to the right to make it more transparent, right? So you can just play around with this according to your needs and your desires, right? Then we have this palette, uh, these colors palette, uh, which we will be using. I mean, uh, whenever we will do uh, for every single step, for every single uh, part of the terminal, we'll have different color, right? If, if I just go ahead and install... Uh, sudo uh, apt update for example and if i'll just go ahead and uh, enter my password so uh, these are the different colors like the link is you know uh, orange and all of these settings or, or all of these uh, you know processed links they are all gray right so we can all change that uh, let's say i want to change uh, uh, I want to change this color, let's say, right? This is the palette color. You can always change it. Uh, let's just click on this color and let's select something else. Uh, let's make it a little red. So let's just select the color and you can see that this color has been changed. If you want to change uh, the color of this thing, you can always just go ahead and click here and you can change this. For this, I'm going to just take a random color because I'm just showing you that how you can do this and select it. And here you can see this desktop has been changed to yellow. Uh, <clears throat> if you want to change the text, you can always go here. And if you want to make it white, just select the white color. And you can see all the text uh, is white now. If, if you want some other color like if you want blue then simply just go ahead and select this right now i'm not defining a color uh, scheme for my laptop because i'm just showing you uh, the way in which how you can do all this uh, so you can do this according to your needs and your desires right so let's just turn this into green just for the moment right 
I'll just decrease transparency a little bit and I don't like this background so I'll just change this background as well. Uh, so let's see that how a blue looks uh, behind green. Uh, it's kind of cool but it's not uh, the ideal one, right? Uh, but right now my my purpose is, is not to, you know, set the theme itself i'll just you can just play around with the colors uh to you know select uh, which one looks more good right okay so i'll just uh, leave it at this for the moment uh or you know just select a little darker background so we can see the terminal more clearly okay uh and uh, let's say we have uh this warning color right so probably uh, we, if we change this color from here maybe it will change uh let's make it red for example and here you can see these warnings has been turned to red even though this is a this is not an error right so that that's how you can you know change the color scheme of your uh, laptop or, or of your terminal sorry to meet your desires, right? So that's how you can actually do all of that. Uh, so now you know that how you can change the color scheme of your terminal, right? I'll just switch it back to uh, orange uh, because these are just warnings, these are not errors. So if, if we just, you know, uh, give them a red color, so every time uh, they will they will show up, uh, we can get confused that they are, there might be some errors, right? So I'll just uh, switch them back to orange color okay so that was a little bit about uh, the colors themselves if you want to change the text then just switch to this tab and here if you just click on this uh, icon you can change the size and the font of your uh, terminal uh, here you can see that when i enable that uh, checkbox the terminal got a little more bigger and now the font uh, size is also bigger and the font uh, itself is different right so if you just go ahead and click here we have a list of different fonts that you can use in your uh, terminal right so let's say you want to use this use this font and from this slider you can select your uh, font size so definitely obviously this uh, big font is not very cool we'll just you know stick to 12 maybe uh, let's just try this so here is your terminal now your font and size has been changed uh, you can select the font according to your desires according to your needs again uh, i think it it's not looking very good uh, yeah maybe this one is fine and if you okay if i'll just scroll down and here if i'll just clear this you can see my cursor is a block and it's blinking, right? So you can also change this cursor. For example, if you, if you don't want block, if you want a beam, so you can, you know, just uh, change it from here. Now it's not a block, it's just a beam. And even if you don't like this, you can always use underline itself. So here you can see your cursor is changed to underline. Now if you want your cursor to blink, then it just, you know, go with enabled. If you don't want it to blink, then just uh, disable it. So right now you can see it's not be it's not blinking at all. all right, so that's how you can uh, you can uh, control the behavior of your cursor itself. And that's pretty much it. That how you can customize your terminal according to your need to make it a little more desirable to your eyes. So that was the I mean how you can customize systems uh, default terminal. Now we will see that how we can install a, th a theme for this terminal to look uh, more beautiful. So for that, we will install uh, a theme itself, uh, which is called Star uh, Starship. So we'll install it uh, with the help of uh, uh, Snap. I'll just open up my preferences again. And because I like block, so I'll just you know, change this underline to this block and I'll just enable the blinking. Okay, so it looks fine. Obviously, I'm going to change uh, this background or we can just simply go ahead and go with the system theme. 
right so i'll just go to colors and i'll just click on this button and everything just got to, got back to how it was before okay now let's just uh, install starship uh, theme for your terminal and for that you have to do a sudo snap install uh, starships oh i just made a mistake here we have this start um, I wanted to write starship okay uh, even starships is not a present okay so it was a starship it, it wasn't starships right so yeah my bad so it's being downloaded now and of course it's gonna take a couple of minutes maybe a couple of seconds based on your internet connection uh, so I'll just fast forward the video from here so we save our time. Okay, now uh, we can see that uh, this Starship has been installed, but we uh, still have to configure it and embed it uh, to our terminal. And for that, we have to change a file in our Ubuntu system, which is called bash rc. Uh, now, if we just go ahead and type ls... Uh, hyphen la then you will see a list of uh, okay uh, we should see a list of okay if i just go ahead and type it here okay still no i'll just go back and i will just go back and here i will try to uh, write this command Okay, yeah, right. Before we were on the desktop directory, so we, we were not able to see all these files. Uh, you have to go to your root directory uh, to see these files, right? So here you can see we have a file called .bashrc. Uh, this is the file that we were looking for, right? We have to change this file. So if, if you just, I mean, in Ubuntu, if you just want to uh, open up a text notebook, you can simply just type here text editor right so in graphic user interface it's called text editor but if you want to open it using terminal then you will call it as g edit right so its name is g edit when uh, we use it on terminal now we want to open up uh, this file with a text editor so we'll just say that g edit dot bash rc and it will open up our bash rc file so here you can see it uh, point bash rc file has been opened up we'll just scroll down at the end and we'll just add a line after this uh, we will write evolve a double quotations dollar sign bracket starship init bash and inverted commas closed so we'll just go ahead and uh, save this file and we'll just close it and we will close this terminal as well let's just open up this terminal again and now you'll see that your terminal is changed so before we, you were seeing your computer name and that uh, you know uh, that was that, that that didn't look so cool but now you don't have all that let's say i just want to you know uh run a command let's say i want to see that what is present in my current directory so for that we use ls which means list so i'll just write this and we can see all the uh, you know directories that are present in the current directory if you want to go to uh, this downloads directory then you can simply write cd uh, downloads right so now you are in downloads and then again you can see that what is present in your downloads folder so now you can see that this terminal uh, where we were actually uh, seeing uh, our computer's name and that directory name and you know what uh, what not now it's all clean right you can just simply write clear so you don't have any mess here any mess at all so that's how you can customize your uh, terminals theme to look a little more cool